It's Monday morning, you sit down for work, you answer a few emails, you check your to-do list, and you try and pick up where you left off last week. Your mind is occupied with a mental list of dozens of items that you know you need to get done, yet you have no idea where to start. You manage to get a few things checked off the list, yet you've made no real progress towards things that actually move the needle. Instead of juggling way too many tasks with no purpose behind your actions, imagine starting each day off with a pre-planned list of action items that align directly with your goals. Here are five steps that you can use to plan a realistic week that align with your priorities. Before you do anything, reflect on your previous week. Where did you waste time? When you think to yourself, there's not enough time in the day, where does that time go? What if you could regain even one to two hours of your week by limiting social media or TV watching. Once you've thought through this, now you can work on limiting that distraction in order to make this week more productive. I found that productivity isn't about saying yes to the right things, but rather saying no to the wrong ones. The first thing on the list is to pick a day to plan your week. For me, Sunday afternoons or evenings usually work best. Ideally, you'll stick to this same time and day throughout each week just to make it consistent and to make a habit out of it. The second thing on the list is to do a brain dump or as I like to call it, a cranium cleanse. For this, you're gonna to wanna to use a sheet of paper, a notebook, or some sort of digital note-taking app that you can use to write down anything that you can think of that you need to do, or any single thing that's causing you stress. Even if every single thing is on a to-do list item, write it down so that it can be addressed. And if this list that you write out is far beyond what you can accomplish in a week, do not worry about it. This is just a way to get these things off of your mind. The things that absolutely need to get done will be addressed in the following steps. If you often feel overwhelmed by the things that come to mind that you need to do throughout the day, keep a pocket notebook or a digital note on your phone handy at all times. Rather than trying to remember these things for later, you can write them down and get them out of your head right away. And most importantly, do not try and do these tasks right away unless it's absolutely necessary. Instead, these items can get added to your task list for next week instead of interrupting your already pre-planned list for this week. By the way, if you're interested in some new pocket notebooks to organize a more productive week, you can get 10% off of Field Notes with the code ERIC10. I will have a link down below in the description if you're interested. Once you have all these things written down on a sheet of paper, take a moment to just be present and recognize your humanness. Try to just be still and recognize that the only thing that you can control right now is this very moment. All you should really be focusing on is what you can do right now and what you can do today. The third thing we're gonna do is to choose one high priority item from each life category. For example, for me, this is work slash business, health, relationships, education, and personal. What things do you absolutely need to get done this week? And this should usually be between one and five main things. Realistically, how would you feel if you got one main task done from each of these categories this week? I find that it's best to keep it simple here because we're much more productive when we keep fewer things on our to-do list. The other thing I like to do when I have all my tasks written down is to pick out anything that can be done in five minutes or less. And then you can find a block of time during your week to knock out all of these small tasks in an hour or two. I often find that it's all of these small and mundane tasks that add a bunch of unnecessary stress to my life. Choose an hour during your week and knock out all of these things in one sitting. The fourth thing on the list is to break down these bigger goals for the week into smaller action items. Start with one of your bigger goals for this week. What smaller steps you need to take in order to achieve that goal? Put these smaller tasks on your schedule first. It's important here to keep your priorities the number one thing. When you have these high priority items scheduled on your calendar first, it's easier to have the confidence to say no to things that do not align with your goals. And this is something that I'm really bad at personally. It's hard for me to have boundaries and stick to the things that I know I need to get done. It's super easy to get pulled in a million different directions throughout the week. So having this schedule will change that completely. Personally, I like to start with these smaller action steps and work my way up to bigger goals. This way, I'm able to gain momentum and confidence with each small step that I complete. And then finally, the fifth thing on the list is to schedule all your other tasks around these high priority important items. And when you're doing this, make sure to leave time for rest, recovery, naps, walks, and anything you need to take a break. I found that these things are the real secret behind productivity and sustainability within your work. If you're feeling a bit brain fried after a big task, make sure to take a five to 10 minute break and let yourself recover. I'm personally a big fan of breaking up my work blocks with walks outside. I find that it's just an amazing way to get fresh air, get some new ideas pumping in my head, get the blood flowing, and to figure out the best way to approach my next task. Wow, that's a hard one to say. I found that these walks literally work wonders for me and I would highly recommend them. And finally, make sure you plan out your week again next week. Take your high priority tasks that you weren't able to accomplish this week 
and put them first thing on the list next week. It's super important here to remember not to stress yourself out. If you don't accomplish every single thing on your list, it's going to be okay. You can put it on the list next week. You'll get to it eventually. And remember to do what's realistic, not what's expected. Whether these expectations are from yourself or from somebody else, if you keep trying to do things that are unrealistic, you're just going to burn yourself out and be less productive overall. Hopefully this helps you to plan your week this week and in the coming weeks ahead. If you have any questions, comments, or things that you use to plan your week, make sure to leave a comment down below. My name is Eric. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.